can a person who has got dengue once in his life get it again for the second time or multiple times and if that is so then is the subsequent episode more severe or it is milder because in many viral infections it happens like that so hello friends i am dr piyush ashok choudhury bringing to you the next video on the youtube channel of fever care center for infectious diseases in this video we are going to discuss about dengue infection so friends unlike many other viral infections wherein one incidence of infection can perhaps prevent several future infections because of development of antibodies against that particular virus dengue virus differs the, that is because there are four subtypes of dengue virus then we 1 2 3 and 4 and all these four subtypes are genetically different from each other in some way or other and more importantly in the environment around us more than one subtype can be co circulating meaning that in humans who themselves act as reservoir so a infected person is the reservoir of these viruses so in those persons or in the aedes aegypti mosquito which spreads this infection like we saw in our chikungunya zika etc related videos so they can be carriers of more than one subtype of dengue virus so if somebody has had infection with one subtype the antibodies which our immune system produces against that subtype do not essentially protect that person from the other three subtypes of dengue virus in fact there is an important pathophysiological mechanism by which dengue virus causes complications in our body and this mechanism is called antibody mediated enhancement so basically what happens is if someone has had dengue in the past and there are antibodies in his or her body against that particular subtype so when a new subtype of dengue virus infects that same person this virus and those antibodies bind with each other but they are not able to neutralize this virus completely and on the contrary this virus antibody complex binds and enters various cells of our immune system like the macrophages now within these cells this virus multiplies and replicates into several copies leading to a large amount of viremia which leads to more severe symptoms moreover when our immune system which has previously reacted to a similar but different type of dengue virus becomes activated and produces the reactions against this viral infected cells and these cells lies as a effect of interaction between our immune system and these virus infected cells but when they lies they release lot of chemicals called cytokines and these cytokines cause something what we call as a storm cytokine storm which leads to various complications related to dengue now these complications could be related to vascular complications or vasculopathy wherein there is drop in blood pressure and various circulatory manifestations or coagulation related complications where there are bleeding manifestations or multi organ dysfunction related complication where there is impact of this whole process between the virus and immune system on various of our organs right from your brain heart lungs liver kidney etc so what are these complications how to detect them and how to manage them that is what is going to be discussed in the subsequent video on the youtube channel of fever care center for infectious diseases so friends if you found this video useful then please like the video share it with as many people as possible subscribe to the uh, to our youtube channel and always remember stay informed to stay healthy